Hey, hey, back at your good new video. <clears throat> All right, so that was a joke. But anyway, so hey, so we're on our way to um, Kinzua Bridge State Park in northwestern Pennsylvania. It's about almost 5.45 in the morning. Um, so the reason we're going up to Kinzua, I'm probably saying that wrong, Kinzua Bridge State Park. Um, so the background on it is at one time it was the largest, or not the largest, it was the tallest and longest viaduct in the world. Um, which essentially just allows a railroad to cross over the Kinzua Gorge. Anyways, in 2003, 2006, it was knocked out by a tornado. So we're gonna go up and check that out. It's ranked number one on TripAdvisor as far as uh, Pennsylvania State Parks. We're all only partially going for that. The main reason we're going is the Kinzua Creek flows directly through that gorge area. And from what I've read, there are some nice wild trout in there. I don't know if they're brook trout or brown trout, I've heard conflicting reports, so we're gonna try to fish that. And then also, on the way up, uh, we're also gonna try to hit the Clarion River. So I don't really know a whole lot about the Clarion River, but as I was researching going to Kinsua, um, I came across it. So I guess it's like a trophy, big, big brown trout area. Um, they stock it with fingerlings, but then there's also wild trout. Um, so I don't really know a lot, of, whole, lot of, little, whole lot about it but we are gonna try to hit that up um, on the way. So we're in the car now. We probably have another three hours of driving. Um, when I get closer, see anything interesting, I'll let you know. Hopefully we can get some nice mashings today. Um, and yeah, we'll keep going from there. Just got some gas and coffee at Sheets. We're getting pretty close to the Clarion River spot. I think it's called like, I don't know, Johnsonburg, Ridgeway, something like that. But yeah, once we get there, um, hopefully we can find some access and start trout fishing. Let's see. All right, so finding access to the Clarion River was difficult. Um, just found this spot. Hopefully it's not private property. We're gonna make our way down this hill and see if we can start fishing. See how it goes. All right, so we just made it down this shady hill to a railroad track and the river's right there. So we're gonna see if we can try to fish or find somewhere to fish. Never been here. I just need to figure out a way to mark this area so I know where to go because the path is right here. Um, but yeah, so we got down to the river. Once I get on the river, I'll, sh I'll show you what, what it looks like. So I decided to get my feet wet. It's an unfortunate thing. I walked for a little bit, couldn't really find any access that was easy, so got my feet wet. Hopefully I can dry them off later. The water's cold, but it's not like unbearably cold. So we're gonna hit this little pocket. First, I wanted to try over here, which doesn't look bad. Again, kind of shallow. Um, don't really know anything about this area at all. Yeah, we're making our way back up to the car. Uh, like I said, I didn't want to waste too much time here since the end goal is to get to Kinzua. But I figured I'd just, ooh. I think I actually, for a second I thought I might have got a hit, but... I think I actually almost just got stuck there. That was not a trout. This dog is just barking. You probably can't hear it, but there's a dog that's just barking so loud for so long. Dog's been barking for probably 30 minutes, just nonstop barking. Nonstop. So yeah, so first impression of the Clarion River, really beautiful, but not smacking the trout like I had uh, anticipated. Definitely not smacking the trout. Um, I don't even think this, I, didn't, I don't even think I debarbed these hooks, so if I catch one, I'll probably really smack it. Somebody needs to like take care of that dog. And not in a bad way, just take care of it like let it inside or whatever that dog wants to do. Somebody should let the dog do it, you know?
I'm not sure if I can really go up this way because it looks like it gets muddy and deep. But we're at least going to try right up over here where we saw that. Probably was just something falling from the tree. I kind of doubt now that I'm here that it was a true fish pop. But considering I haven't seen a lot of action yet, we got to... Oh, got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Oh, wow. That's a big bass, dang. He's like snagged under like a rock or something. Oh, got him. That's a big bass. Hold. Oh, oh, oh. Dang, he's a nice, he's a nice bass right there. My drag is like so heavy. Okay, got him. Wow, nice, nice bass. I mean, we were looking for the trout, but that is a good looking bass. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Nice looking. Let's, let's get him up here. Dang, that's a, that's a solid, solid fat bass. Dang, look at that guy. Whew. That's a nice bass. Um, so cool. At least we didn't come up, we didn't come out here and get empty handed. That's probably what we saw popping earlier. And he is, uh, he's decent. I don't know if you can see him. He's, uh, he's, oh, he's decent. He's probably at least a pound. All right, so let's get this big, big guy off of here. Big bass. Wow. Oh, he plopped off. He's right here. We're going to give him a little tap. He's back. He's back where he wants to be. Okay, well, clearly there's you know bass back here so that's that's something at least got my blood going um so cool so just got that big ass bass where we got in for the cars right up there so i'm gonna try in here just really really quick nothing crazy just to see if there's anything lurking in here seems a little trouty not real trouty but at least a little trouty don't want to go down too far, honestly. Maybe just a couple more steps right there. Oh, got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him, got him, got him. What is that? What is that? That is a... Oh, that's a brownie. Oh, that's a brownie. That's what we came here for. Nice little brownie. I don't know if that's one of the fingerlings they stock or if that is a wild brownie. I think they stock fingerlings and then they grow up wild. Nice little brownie. Nice little brownie. Awesome. Awesome. So that's that's what we're looking for. Let me make sure my camera's on. Yep, sure is. That's what we're looking for right there. He's probably only about six inches. Um, I actually think this is one of the fingerlings that they stock. Um, let's get a good look at him. Colors aren't quite as vivid but still really nice, really nice, nice colors. Again, the red's not quite as vivid because I think he's a fingerling, which then grew four or five more inches to get to here. But yeah, that's a, he's not bad. He's probably like, look at him in my hand. He's probably like seven or so inches maybe. Yeah, he's probably about a good seven. All right, wet my hands, gonna get one more look at him. Nice little brownie. Again, the reds aren't crazy, but still nice to catch. So we're gonna get this brownie right back in the water. Um, we're gonna plop him right back in. Okay, okay, hold on, buddy. And he plopped off. He's right there. Oh, he's under my foot. He's right there. Look at him. Dang, he doesn't know where to go. We're going to save this brownie's life. Come on, brownie. Let's go to Brown Town. Let's put you back into Brown Town. Look at this guy. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. We're going to save his life. Here you go, brownie. And he's gone. He's gone. So that's how you do it. That's how you smack a big bass and you smack a fingerling brownie that became a, a wild brownie. All right, so I just parked the car. We're taking a little detour before getting to um, the uh, state park. Um, this is really steep here, but I think we'll be okay. Um, we're trying to get down to the east branch of the Clarion River, which is supposed to have excellent, um, excellent trout fishing. So kind of just I can see the creek down there kind of just making our way down once I get down there I'll let you know I should probably stop talking to the camera and focus on getting down here man getting back up that is gonna be absolutely terrible but we made it down the east branch here actually it almost looks bigger than the actual clarion river we were on farther uh, south um, but anyways, yeah, we're gonna work our way up here. 
supposedly this has excellent uh, trout fishing. Absolutely beautiful morning. Beautiful morning. We're just working our way up here. Um, working through some of these rapids. Oh, I just saw something smack it. Dang. Something definitely just smacked it. Um, yeah, this looks like ideal wild trout country. I don't, they might stock it too, but this just looks like super money. Probably gonna have to go. Oh, oh, got him. Got him. Got him, got him, got him. Not sure what that is, but we got him. Mm -mm -mm. What do we got here, boys? Oh, nice little, nice little wild brownie. Nice little wild brownie. Oh, beautiful colors. Wow, vivid, vivid red. This is definitely a wild brownie. So let's get a pick of this guy and we'll get him right back in. Mm -mm -mm. Only maybe five or six inches, but look at the red on here. The red on here is just so nice. Beautiful little brownie. Little red in the tips. Real, oh, that's nice. All right, so we're gonna get him off really quick. Just one more little pick. Beautiful reds on here, beautiful. Not sure where the camera's at, beautiful reds. Probably, yeah, maybe five or six inches, so. We're gonna plop him off. Yep, we'll get you off, bud. So he's he's probably a little guy for the stream. I would not be surprised if they get considerably bigger than this. So we got him off. He plopped right off. And we're gonna keep we're gonna keep uh, we're gonna keep moving. We're gonna keep fishing. Great start, wild brownie, wild brown town. So I made my way downstream. Uh, I actually eventually ran into like private property, and I heard people talking. So. Definitely didn't want to go down that way for obvious reasons, so um, heading back toward my car area. Definitely want to get out to the reason we came, which is the Kinzua State Park. So I'm going to fish here for maybe, I don't know, maybe 15 more minutes, and then we're going to head up to the car. Uh, and then um, I think we're probably half an hour away from Kinzua. Kinzua. So we'll make our way there very soon. Uh, we just want to see if we can maybe coax one more trout into biting. And if we can't, that's fine. We already got that nice. Ooh, got him. Got him. Right as I said that. And it's a brookie. Mm -mm. Right as I was talking. Got a nice, nice size brookie, actually. Wow. Look at this guy. Got him right in the side of the mouth. Or kind of in his, not in the side of the mouth. But we'll get him off of there. Hold on. Right as I said that. Beautiful. Holy cow. Beautiful brook trout. Wow. Probably, oh, oh, he plopped off. Oh, all right. Well, he plopped off, but I touched him, so that counts. Got a nice, nice little fish right here. Not sure what it is, and it's another brownie. Another brownie. Didn't have the, uh, didn't have the camera on, so that's brownie number two. Another, another nice little wild brownie. Probably six or seven inches, maybe. Nothing crazy. Really beautiful color. So we're gonna, we're gonna plop him off. Wet my hand quick. Get a look at him in my hand. Ooh, 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 ooh. Look at the reds. I say it all the time, but it never gets old. Beautiful, beautiful trout. Probably about seven inches. Definitely bigger than the last one. So we're gonna plop, whoop. Hold on, guy, hold on, hold on, hold on. We'll get you off, we'll get you off. Hold on, hold on, hold on. These wild trout are very feisty. One more little pick of that guy. Mm, 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 mm. I'm actually gonna get a pick of this guy, hold on. Let me just get a nice little picky. Nice pick, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Perfect. All right, let's get him back in the water, safe and sound. Bad release, hold on. And we are gonna get him out of here. He plopped right out and he is back to his home. Right in the current, drinking a little, drinking a little oxygen in.
All right, so we just got down to the Kinzua Bridge Creek Trail. This should take us all the way down to the creek, the Kinzua Creek. Uh, this is actually a really neat area. As I alluded to earlier, this bridge was at one time the highest, uh, I don't know what to call it, bridge over top of a, uh, over top of a gorge um, carrying a train. So anyways, you can see in uh, maybe 10, 15 years ago, it was destroyed by a um, tornado. So very cool stuff. You can really see the craftsmanship right here. You can tell it was an excellent viaduct at one point. Really excellent American manufacturing. Here's one last look at the rubble field or the rummage field. Um, yeah, a, uh, if you can believe it, in this gorge in northwestern Pennsylvania, a tornado completely destroyed this, the middle section of this huge viaduct, which for a long time transported freight rail over top of this area. All right, so I finally made my way down here to the Kinzua Creek. Um, it's definitely not as big as it looked in some of the pictures I saw. So maybe that was in the spring after, I don't know, high water or something. But yeah, it's definitely gonna be tight in here trying to catch a fish, so. And there's no trail adjacent to it, so wherever I go, I have to walk back the creek to get here, so. I don't think I'm gonna go too, too far. So. I will say that it's very beautiful back here and for the hundreds and hundreds if not thousands of people that were back at the park, there's like some kind of festival or something, it's very secluded. I don't think I'm gonna see anybody else back here and that's great but one thing I will say, two things I'll say is one, I had two fish on within the past, real buggy, two fish on within the past, I don't know. Uh, couple minutes and they were not not trout I don't know if they were black nosed dace or chubs or whatever but they were not trout and two the water's not that cold which is not good I'm sure what this little chub is but this is the only type of fish that's been ugh, that's been biting so we're gonna get him off I'm thinking this is like maybe all that's out here. I honestly don't know, I hope not, but we're gonna keep fishing. We got him in this little hole. This is the exact fish that's been smacking everything I've been throwing. Got him. Ugh. Gross. Big fall fish. Ugh. Ugh. Great. So we just got done at Kinzua Bridge uh, State Park. The fishing was <clears throat> really beat. No trout. Um, just like fall fish and weird like horny head fish. What's cool is they did have a like some type of festival, just got a crappy cheesesteak and french fries. Still cool though. <clears throat> a lot of like little craft stands, so it's nice to see that, you know, little rural areas like this still have a sense of community. It's a beautiful thing. Um, anyways, so <clears throat> just driving back, letting these guys go by. Just driving back to my car, walking back to my car. Then I'm gonna take the long, tepid, tepid journey back to Harrisburg, which is a good three and a half hours. So <clears throat> just to wrap up the day, we hit the Clarion River. We hit the east branch of the Clarion River. Um, we hit Kinzua Creek. The Clarion River had a big, nice bass, um, a little brown brownie. 
and then the east branch of the Clarion River was probably our mo most productive place. We got two wild brownies and a little brookie, and then here at the uh, Kinswa Bridge State Park, we saw the viaduct, which was really cool. Um, fished the creek, was super beat. But anyway, still overall great day, so we're gonna call it a wrap after that. Some nice ferns over here that you can see. Uh, just was at a nice, um, nice little community event, so. We'll call it a day. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good one.